In this video, we're going to go ahead and use a new alignment creation method. We're going to go ahead and use the create alignment from object. So what we need to do first is we need to find the object that we're going to create an alignment based off of. Uh, it was one of the lines that we turned on when we unfroze one of the C road layers. Uh, if you zoom in to the end of this, what looks like a cul-de-sac, we will end up turning into a cul-de-sac. You'll see a polyline here that is blue. And what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to take this polyline, we're going to turn it into an alignment. So in order to do that, we're going to go up to the home tab of the ribbon bar. We're going to navigate over to alignments. We're going to drop down. We're going to select create alignment from objects. And then what Civil 3D is going to ask us is to select the first line arc and polyline. We're only going to deal with one polyline. If you had like a line that went into a curve that then went into a polyline and they were all touching each other at the ends, um, they were all snapped onto each other's endpoints, then you could select each individual part. Civil 3D would turn all of those entities into one alignment. What we're going to go ahead and do is just use one single polyline. I'm going to select the polyline and then I'm going to hit enter to finish that command. And then it says press enter to accept alignment direction. If you notice inside of here, there's an arrow and it points in the direction that the alignment is going to be built. If you don't like that direction, you can hit R for reverse. If you don't hit R for reverse and you just hit enter and you accidentally meant to have it go the other way, we'll talk about that in a second. So I'm going to hit enter to accept the, the direction of the alignment. And then I get the alignment creation window. I have the option for the name, the general information, the site, the style, the label set, and then I have a conversion option, add curves between tangents. So if I have a bunch of lines or polylines with no curves in them, I can define what I want the radiuses to be inserted into my alignment would be. I have a bunch of curves, so I don't want to add curves between tangents because I have no tangents. And then I have the option for erasing my existing entity like we did when we created a feature line from object. I don't need this polyline anymore, so I am going to leave erase existing entities checked. And then I'm going to click OK. If you had design criteria that you wanted to place onto this alignment, you could also still define that here. I'm going to leave my starting station as 0 plus 0, 0, and I'm going to hit OK. And so what Civil 3D does is it creates that alignment for me with the stationing and the orientation that I specified going this direction. If I had accidentally chosen that and not wanted it to go this direction, and instead I wanted it to read the opposite direction, there is an option for correcting that. What you have to do is you have to select the alignment that you want to work with and then go to the modify section of the contextual ribbon bar for the specific alignment we've selected and drop down and choose reverse direction. It's really a good idea to make sure you choose your directions of your alignments before you start using them to create anything else inside of Civil 3D because what you'll notice if I click reverse direction, I'm going to get a warning and what it's telling me is that anything that is associated to this alignment, when I reverse that station, it's going to possibly be detrimental to some of the objects that are associated with that alignment because a lot of the objects that are, you're going to link off of your alignment are associated with the stationing of that alignment. So in mid-design, if you change the stationing by reversing the alignment, you could have some major problems happen with your with your design. So it's a good idea to lock in your stationing as you want it before you start working with the design for the rest of the project. So we're gonna go ahead and leave these as they are. One item to note, when you do create a alignment from an object, it's different than when you create it using your tangent to tangent with curves or tangent to tangent with lines and then adding curves in later. When you have a tangent to tangent with curves or tangent to tangent, no curves, and then add curves later, you have a lot of grip edits that remain dynamic and the tangencies are linked. So if I have a line here and I've created a free curve between two tangents, then this curve knows that it needs to be remaining tangent to those two straight segments. And so if I take a grip and I move it, what Civil 3D does is it retains that curve tangency. And so it takes these lines and modifies them and retains the tangency to that curve at the specified radius. And you have these, these basically these dynamic links between grips. So I can take a grip and I can slide it along that tangency and modify my radius. And it, it moves the tangency, it shortens it up, 
expands the radius or I can expand the radius and it maintains those tangencies and uh, slides them back along the tangent sections. When you create a alignment from an object, uh, it doesn't maintain those dynamic tangency links. So with these curves, I drew them in as tangent curves. I drew, when I created this polyline, I created it by drawing a straight line, creating a circle, and then filleting between them. So by doing the fillet, it created a tangent curve between them. But because they were created using the alignment command, I don't have those retained tangencies. And so what I can do is if I grabbed a grip edit, I could edit these and what happens is they aren't forced to keep the tangency between them anymore. So that's just one thing to look out for. If you want to be able to grip edit and modify your alignments later, then you would want to create it using tangent to tangent with curves or without curves and then add the curves in later. Otherwise, you just don't retain those tangencies.